Hey there, it's Tank Girl, and today we are unboxing the Nokia E72. I've been waiting for this one for a while. Um, as you know, I really, really liked the E71 when I reviewed it a year and a bit ago. This is the direct successor to the E71, and the E71 was definitely one of the best Simeon devices on the market at the time um, it came out. So here it is. It's actually sealed in a plastic bag. Oh, maybe not. Good. I was worried. I really wanted to show it to you. Not sealed in a plastic box. Here's the awesome keyboard. On the bottom here you have, I think that might be the headphone jack or charging port. I'm not sure. Here on the side you got the... Uh, USB and micro SD card slots. Um, no, that's the headphone jack up here. And the power button. And the usual volume up, down, and uh, voice, uh, voice dialing buttons. And the 5 megapixel autofocus camera with flash. So the the major the main difference between this phone and the E71 is basically they've added a standard headphone jack instead of the 2.5 millimeter that used to be on the uh, other one. Um, they've added a better camera, 5, point me 5 megapixel. Of course, it's not about megapixels. The 3 megapixel autofocus camera with flash on the E71 was quite abysmal. It's probably one of the worst um, camera to come from SPU from Nokia and years um, for a three megapixel. It was, I was very disappointed by it. So this, this apparently remedies the problem. Uh, if you remember the E72 I reviewed a few months back, which is a QWERTY slider uh, business phone, has a three megapixel camera with autofocus, which was really good. So I think uh, Nokia is finally getting serious about their cameras, even on their business devices. It's a very thin phone, as you can see. So I think this is a charging port. Um, it, it's like a lot of the E-series has both USB charging as well as a standard Nokia charger. And, um, you know, if you're a BlackBerry person, I, I, I have to use a BlackBerry for work. I, I don't really have to, but I do use a BlackBerry for work sometimes. And um, I have to say that I'm going to put my work SIM card, my AT&T card, in here and set up Exchange, which I can do, and take this as my everyday business phone uh, from, from now on for a few weeks. And I think I'm going to be suitably impressed. I know that um, the uh, E71 was great, and I know that as you, I've, I've reviewed a bunch of Blackberries, the Tour and the Curve and a bunch of others, and, uh, you know, I always find them a little lacking. Um, by the way, here's an optical uh, trackpad. Um, they've added this um, on the E72. That's a new feature. And also, apparently, this is a much faster processor. This runs uh, Simeon version 3, feature pack 2, I believe. So anyway, let's move on to the rest of the box, um, since I'm rambling. Uh, maybe go under here and have a look first. Uh, nothing. Probably the manual's under there. And then let's have a look in here. Oh, look, it's a standard charger. The standard two millimeter Nokia plug at the end. And then what we have here, the battery. And this looks like, is it the same battery as the E71? Yep, that's the giant BP4L. This is like a 1500 milliamp or something battery. This, the E71 could go for a week on standby with this battery, so I expect this to be just as good. Um, we're talking business phones here. We're talking people want to be able to use their phones forever. Um, what, what do we have here? All right, look at that. We have headphones with a standard 3.5 millimeter four prong um, Nokia headset, probably with an on inline remote. Yeah, I see something resembling a remote right here. Uh, hang on, guys. There we go. You can see it there. The buttons, volume. And then there is, ooh, this one comes with a pouch. How excellent. Uh, not a lot of Nokias come with pouches. Um, and this is a very, very short micro USB data cable. Um, and then there's a chamois cloth. How nice of them. And uh, judging by the, the prongs on the AC adapter, this is a, U a US version. 
which is great because it will have um, 3G on both 1900 and 850 for AT&T. So let's see, what else is in the box? I think that's it. Yeah. Um, we've got Stop. This is if you need support. You, they give you the phone numbers and uh, the web addresses here. There is a little OV flyer like there always is for an OV navigation, which I never use because I'm a Google Map whore. Um, information about email set up on this product. Uh, anyway, all very exciting. Warranty and reference info. And then the big fat manual. So anyway, back to the phone a little bit. Um, so we've got the headset and look, we even have a uh, little ear adapters so you can be more comfortable depending on your size ears. I have very big ears. If you've seen my kitty hat, you know what I'm talking about. Um, battery, AC adapter, chamois cloth, and we've got USB cable, and we've got a case, but in the manuals back there, but uh, most importantly, the phone. And so, um, yeah, you know, I, I mostly use touchscreen phones these days. This obviously is not a touchscreen phone. Um, but if I'm going to use one that's not a touchscreen phone, it, it has to have an awesome QWERTY keyboard like this. So, as I said, I'm going to use this as my work phone for a while. Um, I've used uh, my iPhone as my work phone. I've used some other N-series phones as my work phones, like the E. I've used the N N97 Mini as my work phone as well. So, uh, and I know that, that I can do it. It's just... Uh, can, there was always some limitations because they're not business phones per se, um, mostly because of the way my work handles Exchange Server stuff. So I'm hoping that this will resolve these and, and I completely can drop the BlackBerry for a little while. Um, you know, I mean, you compare this to the, the, you can't compare this to the curve. I mean, even the E71 was blowing away the curve, clearly. But this is more like the bold, right? Um, the tour comes close, but this missing Wi Fi, which is remedied with. Uh, the Tour 2, as you know, or called SX. I, I have a tour and I reviewed it a few weeks ago, so you can check that on my blog. But this has everything in the kitchen sink. Accelerometer, GPS, 3G, Wi-Fi, good camera, um, you know, standard headphone jack, um, micro SD expansion, super thin, it's really well made, it's E-series, get like this laser etched back cover. I mean, you know, I'm not generally a big business phone person, but if I'm gonna have to have a business phone, this would be the one. And, and honestly, if this works out for me, I might drop my BlackBerry and, and use one of these and buy one um, to use as my, uh, as my work phone from, from here on. So this is how serious uh, this is. And when it was announced, I was really excited because of it. Um, so blah, blah, blah. I should uh, wrap this up. I expect an unboxing, hopefully in the next couple of days on my blog and for pictures and uh, first impressions, the camera review, all that stuff that I usually do in the next few weeks. Um, this is Tank Girl. My blog is Tank Girl Mobile, tnkgrl.wordpress.com. Uh, check it out. I've got a whole bunch of reviews of units uh, like this one and, and others as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Cheers. <laughs>